This is Gent Within's Best Leather Jacket series where I review popular leather jackets from well-known and some lesser-known brands in pursuit of the perfect fit. Round 5 features the popular Peter Manning lambskin leather jacket. This jacket could possibly take home the trophy for Best Leather Jacket for Shorter Men since clothing for the not-so-tall guy, yeah they got it trademarked, is their bread and butter. But I will be taking a look at this jacket from a holistic point of view judging it in terms of how it fits, the style and design, the quality and comfort, durability and longevity, areas for improvement, the many ways I've styled it over the years, and whether or not I think it's worth the price tag. So this is not my first go-round with Peter Manning. In fact, I first discovered the brand sometime in 2015, and I even had the chance to interview Peter way back when, probably like sometime in 2017, when I first visited their showroom in Manhattan. Coincidentally, it was my first time trying on the Peter Manning lambskin leather jacket, and it was love at first wear. I just knew that I had to pick one up, and so the next day I didn't hesitate to place my order, even though it was easily the most expensive article of clothing I ever bought nearly $500 at the time. But I saw it as an investment piece, plus I knew that it would make for a perfect real leather jacket for my wardrobe. And so let's get into it with how the jacket fits. So let's start things off with the most important element when it comes to buying a leather jacket, and that's the fit. I think it's important for a leather jacket to be well fitted and feel like you're wearing armor while still allowing for comfortable movement. When I first put this jacket on in the Peter Manning showroom all those years back, I was almost in tears because of how well the jacket fit me off the rack. No alterations needed. I was also in tears upon learning how much it cost, but you know I was hooked and so I knew I had to own it. So I picked up the jacket and I didn't look back. This jacket right here that I'm wearing in this review is a, their size 2 which fits chest sizes from 36 to 37 inches. It has a back length of 24 inches and a jacket length of 32 inches in case you're wondering. Since Peter Manning specializes in clothing for shorter guys, then it's not a surprise that their leather jacket fits me like a glove. I'm 5'6", 130-ish for reference, and so there certainly is a correlation between properly fitting clothing and the confidence boost that it can give you. The lambskin leather jacket doesn't have a tapered look to it, and so you shouldn't expect any type of waist suppression or that V-taper that you'll find with many other modern biker jackets. It's like a mix between a classic fitting jacket and a more modern leather jacket. I like that it's got a bit more of a classic silhouette which lends itself to being worn with a wider variety of styles from casual to smart casual and has some room to layer underneath. As for some of the fit specifics, the shoulder area and the armhole position are two of the most important areas of a leather jacket fit in my opinion. And so this lambskin leather jacket right here the shoulders are appropriately fitted, it's hitting around my shoulder bone, and additionally the higher armholes are well positioned and so that's going to ensure a proper fit as well. Furthermore, the sleeves are the proper length along with the jacket's overall length and so it's not too short or too long. I think it hits the sweet spot. All in all, the size 2 Peter Manning leather jacket fits pretty flawlessly on my frame. It's a modest fit with or without layering underneath all the while allowing for a full range of motion, and so it's hard to find anything to complain about in terms of the fit here. And now moving on to the style and design of the jacket. So the Peter Manning lambskin leather jacket, it's a classic leather bomber jacket style. And so if you're curious as to why that is, it's this elongated knit collar that's a telltale sign. In my opinion, a stylish and flawlessly fitting leather jacket can make a man feel powerful, almost as if you're wearing armor. At least that's how it should make you feel. And while the Peter Manning lambskin leather jacket isn't the badass double rider motorcycle jacket design of the All Saints or the Jacket Maker leather jackets that I reviewed in previous editions of this series, it still manages to give me that powerful feeling of confidence every time I wear it. Mainly because of how well it fits, 
but also the classic bomber jacket style just looks really good. This jacket is very simple in its design. All of the details of the jacket are modest and so there's nothing that screams for attention or seems out of place. There's not much in terms of hardware with this jacket. The zippers are modestly sized YKK zips. I haven't had any issues zipping up and down the jacket like I had with the All Saints Milo Biker. Those zippers were a pain in the ass. There's double button cuffs at the wrists with two exterior zip pockets and two interior pockets, one zipped and one buttoned. The jacket is comprised of a quilted soft chambray lining and it feels like there's a thin layer of polyester wadding inside to provide a bit of insulation but this jacket is not equipped for winter weather. All in all, the style and design of the lambskin leather jacket seems minimal and thoughtful. Sometimes no frills, simple style is what it's all about. And now let's talk quality and comfort of the jacket. So I just wanna start off by saying that the Peter Manning leather jacket is the most comfortable leather jacket I own and have tried on, period. There's no competition. The lambskin leather is so silky smooth and buttery soft you know, it has to be felt for yourself. Moreover, the stitching is clean throughout the entire jacket's exterior, although there are some minor loose threads on the inside chambray lining, but it's really no cause for concern for the leather skin, grain, and tanning. So according to Peter Manning, their leather jackets are made from high quality, full grain, New Zealand lambskin leather. And so I don't know much about all the leathers from New Zealand, but if all their other leathers are like this lambskin, then I'm going to have to take a look at the other varieties of leather jackets that they source there. It is worth noting that lambskin leather is much softer and inherently less durable than much thicker horse, buffalo, or bovine leathers. And so this is a jacket that prioritizes style and comfort over functionality. Overall, the Peter Manning leather jacket is a mid-weight, leaning more towards a, a lighter weight leather jacket. And so it's definitely not going to keep you warm during the winter, but it's a great spring and fall jacket. Now on to the durability and longevity of this jacket. So this leather jacket, it's gotten some of the most wear in my entire jacket collection. And so I love wearing it that much. I've worn it day and night to bars with friends, on dates, to meetings, grocery shopping, casually strolling through the city, abroad on my sabbatical to Australia a few years back, to Atlanta for the Menfluential Conference, countless photo shoots, on and on. So the jacket really has been through and seen a lot. And through it all, the jacket has held up surprisingly well, given the extreme softness of the lambskin leather. You know, you would think that durability is gonna be a big concern. And I did read a review online of someone who experienced some issues with the leather ripping, but that seemed to be the anomaly. In my experience, there's no cracking or deterioration of the leather. It's as soft as it was from when I first got the jacket. Moreover, it hasn't torn, ripped, or gotten warped out of shape. There is some visible wear of the leather fraying potentially on the cuff of the jacket, but beyond that, the leather is aging perfectly. It is worth noting that the jacket stretches a bit, but it doesn't stretch to the point that it's stretched out of shape. So it retains its shape nicely and forms to your body over time as all quality leather jackets should. So overall, the lambskin leather jacket's durability and longevity over the past five years has been quite good. No complaints from me. So how can you style the jacket? So there are many ways that you can style a classic leather bomber jacket. While you could go super simple with a basic white t-shirt as you would wear one with a motorcycle jacket, I feel that the bomber jacket style is a bit more elevated and better suited for smarter layered looks. And so for one, you could wear a casual button down shirt and layer a quarter zip over top, throw on some well-fitting chinos and your favorite pair of boots, and you've got yourself a prime look. Another way you can wear it is with a button-up shirt, crew neck merino sweater, slim jeans, and some more rugged cat toe boots. A simpler idea is to wear the leather jacket with a clean white button-up shirt, performance chinos, classic sneakers, like the Nike Kill Shot. For a fourth look, you could again rock it over top of a merino or cashmere sweater and a casual button-down, paired with some wool trousers and suede boots to finish off the look. And for a fifth bonus look, this leather jacket looks great with white jeans and suede Chelsea boots. Give it a try. All in all, the styling possibilities with this leather jacket is endless. So how much does it cost? So currently, the damage of this lambskin leather jacket here is $4.95 USD, which is about average for many real quality leather jackets out there. And so depending on who you ask, some is going to say that 
this is an entry level jacket, while others would say that it's a grail piece. But for comparison, the ASOS Barney's leather jackets that I reviewed prior can be had for around $100 at its cheapest. The Jacket Maker's leather jacket is around $300. The All Saints Milo Biker is now $600. And the Shot Perfecto start around $750. And they go up from there. And so if we're comparing the Peter Manning lambskin leather jackets, it's around middle tier among the other leather jackets that I reviewed. As for areas of improvement, so the jacket, it's not boxy by any means, but I do have some recommendations for them to potentially improve the product. I say that they should keep the current silhouette and create another version with a bit more of a taper to the jacket for a more modern cut. For the tailored or trim fit, they should perhaps add the same knit material from the collar to the waistline as homage to that classic bomber jacket style. It's always good to have a little bit more variety and to provide another option for those who want something a little bit more trendier with a slicker modern fit. But those are just some of my thoughts. So wrapping things up, is the Peter Manning lambskin leather jacket worth it? So I bought this jacket over five years ago now and I've gotten so much value from wearing it through the years that the nearly $500 price tag is an afterthought. So yes, to me, this jacket is well worth the price tag and some. Honestly, I viewed it as an investment piece when I purchased it and that's exactly what it turned out to be. And thinking in terms of cost per wear, the jacket is among one of the most affordable pieces I've ever bought. In the end, I'm partial to the lambskin leather jacket because I've had it for so long and it's earned a permanent spot in my smart casual style rotation. And so I don't really have many negative things to say about it. And I still love wearing it just as much as I did as when I first put it on. And so, as I said before, it was love at first wear and I recommend this jacket highly. That's all I got for this video. Got another one for you here and right here. So go and check one of those out. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead, lightly tap that like button. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. I put out new videos like this weekly. Cheers to your style and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.